Hello gamers, it's nice, and I hope all you glorious barons counting the days until quarter three are having a nice day. Today, I wanted to finally discuss and critique the recent gameplay we saw in the PvP caravan showcase for MMO Ashes of Creation, and why I don't think it was representative of real nor actual gameplay that we can expect from this highly ambitious MMO. I think the caravan PvP interaction we saw at the beginning of stream, while entertaining and even impressive, was not real gameplay that we can expect. This portion of the live stream, while perhaps Perhaps not the most important or informative part of the stream has turned out to be the most influential part of the stream. Oh yeah, that's right, we're getting right into it today, no long intro. It has been over two weeks since the Caravan PvP showcase and a lot of voices around the community have been heard. Speaking of voices around the community, be sure to tune into our podcast The Voices of Vera every Tuesday around 7.30 Eastern. I know, I know, shameless plug, but we've gotten to see a topic of discussion I didn't expect to be so popular actually gain a lot of attention and that's the topic and debate of attacker risk or lack thereof in the caravan PvP system. I did a short video on this and I've discussed this plenty, so as to not rehash too much, I'll state the following after gathering more info and listening to your feedback. Caravan PvP should involve at the very least normal death penalties for attackers and should continue to incentivize successful attackers of those caravans to then have to run their own caravan. And this process should involve drastic loss of materials and efficiency for those who choose to loot on the spot. I'm talking like a 5 to 10 percent return if you open the caravans on the spot post attack. Furthermore, I believe we shouldn't be focused too much on increasing attacker risk, especially before testing, and instead should be focusing on increasing incentive for defending caravans, even outside of the normal player-driven system of, you know, just paying them some gold to help you. That's it. That's my take. Keep it simple. We'll leave it there. Also, thank you to everyone who commented under that video as it was great feedback that I did take into account. Now let's get back to this fake gameplay I wanted to discuss. As we all know, the caravan run of this stream was scripted and rightfully so. A lot of people complained about this, but as I think Steven mentioned, this was necessary to ensure the attackers won and we got to see the whole process of, you know, looting a caravan and seeing the naval caravan system. This is something important to note as this wasn't meant to be completely natural gameplay as there was a goal and vision in mind for us, the viewer. I believe this was fine and necessary. However, I think there is one issue at play. Now, apologies in advance as I'll be linking this portion of the stream as background footage a lot. The reason I'm doing this in the background a lot is because I think this was the most fake gameplay of the stream and it has led to the fear mongering of a lot of people in the AOC community and fear mongering of content creators as well. This portion of the stream visualized something about a system in the game that we've known about for years. The Caravan Escort is essentially a mobile PvP objective involving a lot of risk versus reward. And you have the risk of losing your materials and uh, glint and everything like that that you were transporting. But I think in an effort to ensure a one-sided victory in this initial interaction here, Intrepid may have overly did things. They spoke of ensuring one side had more healers and such, and this became evident as everyone died decently quickly except for Bree, of course, of the Golden Feather Tavern, as she is the most OP 1vx unkillable PvP player. And of course, as we all know, Cleric Healing is overpowered, and we need to discuss how Cleric Healing needs a nerf before proper testing. So, for the first question, I feel like there's almost too much healing in Ashes of Creation uh, with, with the Cleric and the archetypes and uh, potential of, uh, of the, the survivability that it provides, potions, buffs, food buffs, all that stuff. Um, now, I kind of get tipping the scale in one side's favor because there was an end goal, but I really think this fight being so one-sided indeed led to this narrative that attackers are going to steamroll every caravan group, especially when outnumbered. Now you guys know I'm never really super critical of Ashes of Creation. The MMO is still a work in progress and a lot of things are not finalized. I mean, we're literally pre-alpha. However, the reason my critique here is perhaps harsh and the reason I am calling this basically fake gameplay is, well, um, did we completely forget about the original caravan stream that we just had on Halloween of 2023? Did we just completely forget about the amazing defensive kit displayed for caravan operators? This was my issue. We were told about all these fancy upgrades available to caravan defenders, and yet 
none apparently were used. This is a literal AOE heal over time that will heal uh, nearby defenders. And caravans are typically insanely bulky. And I mean, to be fair, this one actually took a decently long time even after it was the only thing to be focused in the area. There is a repulsor blast to literally scatter and knock back attackers. Who knows what else they're working on behind the scenes like an AOE oil spill that will impose a snare on attackers, traps that will cause a punishing immobilize and damage over time, a damage shield for the caravan, a camouflage for the caravan, or more. Instead, we got this guy driving the caravan on a main road, which is supposed to make them faster at about a speed of two miles per hour, not using caravan abilities, not staying mobile, and essentially becoming a sitting duck. Granted, this is what they were told to do, and that caravan may not have had these upgrades, but this was not a viable defense of a caravan escort who took necessary precautions and were trying to mitigate risk on their journey's success. This was not representative of someone like you or I who would be smart enough to prepare ahead of time with enough people or make sure the caravan has the right speed and defense and upgrades and skills and everything like that. Maybe the repulsor is still bugged per some sources and was sending players vertically in the air like in the October showcase that we saw when he was sending NPCs in the air. But I feel people saw this attack here at the beginning of stream and fear of the big bad attacker set in as they watched hopeless as those defenders lost their hard earned materials and commodities. Then the fear sets in that every caravan is subject to this fate. Then even PVPers and non PVPers alike got to visualize a reality that even though their core gameplay loop is gathering, crafting and other artisanship, they can fall victim to the unwanted PVP in this game and PVP will annoyingly occur at the inconvenient and most unopportunistic time. And this caravan attack, ladies and gentlemen, can happen to you. However, if you prepare, have a lot of defenders, invest necessarily into your caravan, not drive like an 82 year old snail hauling three tons of cement, you can be successful. Remember you glorious Varens and even Vex, this attack is perhaps not truly real gameplay representative of your caravan PVP experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please like the video as it helps others to find it and subscribe if you're new. Thank you always to our channel members on the next screen. I really appreciate the support as we play other games while we wait in Ashes of Creation's waiting room. See you in Vera or on the Voices of Vera Ashes of Creation live podcast. Peace. I think they couldn't see the everybody that was battling you. So yeah, they no, the no, we, we, we didn't. The numbers weren't even purposely so, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. guys, remember, part of this demonstration is to show off certain systems. So, yes, you know, a lot of these things are kind of run of show. We're intended to defeat them. We're intended to take their stuff. We're intended to transition to the raft. That's the intent, right? Um, and so, so don't, so don't, don't get too harsh on the defending side. They were purposefully outnumbered. We even changed their composition not to let them have too many healers. <laughs> so it was unfortunate for them. <laughs>